So for this first look here, as you can see, this one is already done. And uh, this one I painted a light yellow color. I'm not going to be using the same color scheme as this nail here, but I am going to do exactly the same thing. But I'm going to be using a um, green color, a light pastel green for this top part, and a light blue color for the bottom. So the first st step, I'm going to go ahead and apply some nail tape. There is the nail tape applied. And apply in the top part. But be careful because I don't want to apply outside of the tape. And what you can do is also just use the dotting tool or a toothpick to kind of fill in this area right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the light blue on the bottom portion of this nail. I am going to go ahead and let this nail completely dry and then come back. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off the nail tape. I'm going to go ahead and use this color and the brush to line this part of the nail diagonally just to outline the two different colors okay now this is lined we're gonna go ahead and wait till this is completely dry and come back with the final step so for this nail, we're going to go ahead and add our white line in. And I'm going to go ahead and use my dotting tool and white polish again so that I can use the dots as a guide to draw my lines. going to put a dot right here. Put a dot here. Another dot on the side. And one more dot right here going to take my white LA Colors Art Deco um, Striper Nail Polish and put in the lines. And that's it with this look. I really love this color combination and how it turned out. For this next design, we're going to go ahead and do this design here, but of course I am going to be using a set of different colors to add some variation. So uh, let's get started. First I'm going to go ahead and use a white polish. White polish out on the paper and I'm going to go ahead and use my smallest size dotting tool. I am going to go ahead and dot the four corners of a diamond at the bottom or near the bottom of this nail. Now I am going to go ahead and connect the four dots. And now I am just going to go ahead and color in everything as white. Wipe off my dotting tool and let's move on to the second color. For the second color, I am going to go ahead and use yellow. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as last time. This time the triangle is going to be here on the left side. The next color is going to be orange. Last triangle is going to be red. We're going to go ahead and let this dry and we will come back. Now I am going to use a thin brush to add a stripe here and a stripe here. Similar to this nail, except this one has two silver stripes as you can see silver here and here. Because I feel like this is more of a cool tone, so I felt like the silver 
match more with this nail but for this one i'm gonna go ahead and use the gold Now I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and come back with the final step. Now I'm going to go ahead and visually divide each diamond into four equal parts. And I'm going to do that with again the liner brush. And I'm going to be using this pale green color. And that's it with this look. I really like these color combinations and I like these color combinations as well. So I hope you enjoyed this look. So for this next look, we're going to go ahead and do this one. And this one is the most complicated out of the three and it takes most of the time. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. And um, we are going to use different color schemes for this nail that I'm showing you. But um, the concept is exactly the same. I'm going to visually divide the snail into three equal parts. I'm going to use my smallest dotting tool. Put one dot here at the base of the nail. Put one dot here. Now I'm going to use a thin long brush like this one. And then connect the dots. Now I'm going to use my dotting tool and fill in the spaces. I will go ahead and clean the dotting tool as well as the long brush with acetone to get ready for the next color. I will do exactly the same thing as last time. Now we will add the final color and finish off this nail. For this nail here, I went ahead and used the white striper and that's why the lines are a little bit thicker than I like. So for this nail, I'm going to go ahead and use my striping brush because it's very, very thin and I'm hoping to create these really nice white thin lines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my guide first and using a toothpick, I'm going to go ahead and dot in tiny white dots. And that's it. I pretty much put in all the white lines and I really like this look. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, I like that that this one is a lot thinner than this one because I think it looks a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye!